Today we have the unboxing of the Travel Buggy City 2 Plus. Uh, this is a lightweight folding scooter. It's got a 395 pound weight capability. Breaks apart into three pieces with the heaviest piece being 40 pounds. Uh, overall a pretty good scooter, but I'm gonna show you how to unbox it. So we're gonna start, it would come in in a box like this, probably through UPS or some other shipping company. Um, and I've got a knife, I'm going to cut open the tape up top. Be careful when cutting down. You do not want to cut into your product. Just watch what you're doing, be very careful. All right, so I open it up, and the first thing that I see, little little assembly guy that's kind of taped to this plastic. So if I move the plastic out of the way, I have access to the chair. Now looking at this, I think the easiest way to go about this actually would be to cut the sides of the box up. Because this is, when it's fully assembled, it is somewhat heavy. It's going to be kind of difficult to lift it out. So I'm going to cut the front of the box away so you can see what's going on in here. Again, be very careful. Do not cut into your product. So that I've checked every side that I'm cutting into before doing this. Making sure there's nothing in my way. And I think I can get it out this way. We got some of this plastic in the way. I should be able to just pull the scooter forward. There it is. We have our seat cushion is to the side here. Then the rest of the scooter is here. I'm going to move this box out of the way and then we'll be right back. So now I've got the box away. We've got a good look at the scooter. So far I've got a little cushion that comes with it. In this bag is a second cushion that is loose. I'm going to set that to the side. Then I'm going to just start taking some of this plastic off, some bubble wrap around the foot plate. Then I should be able to lift the chair out of this bag as well. It seems pretty sturdy. You can hold it on a frame. There it is. It kind of stands up on its own like that. Then we can remove all this plastic and I'll show you how to assemble the chair. So now I have all the plastic wrap cleared away and what I'm going to do is unfold the scooter. It's pretty easy. It's very similar to a lawn chair. Just going to kind of push forward on one end. We want to lay it down first. Like right here. And then one end comes up. I'm going to push the other end down. Like so kind of like a lawn chair. And then there's our chair. In order to fold it again, so you can see, there's a red lever right here, you just push it down, then the chair will fold down again. So just like that. Now up front here, we have a little storage compartment and a bag. So we have some, we have some goodies in here. We've got our owner's manual, looks like a seat belt, a uh, Allen screw and like a hex key uh, for any parts. We also have in here is our joystick. There's the joystick. The joystick is going to go into either arm. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Also got a little, looks like a cup holder made out of a net. That's kind of cool. A couple other miscellaneous parts down here. Got some zip ties to secure your cable. We have our charger in this box here. And some more loose parts and screws that we will cover. And that should be it. Next thing we're going to put on is the cushion. The cushion comes in a plastic bag just like this. And you want the cushion, the, the Velcro is going to go in, no sorry, not the Velcro, the zipper is going to go in the back of the chair. The Velcro is going to sit up front and it's going to attach just like that. Next is the joystick. Uh, you can slide the joystick into either side. I'm going to go on the right hand side because the cable is already there. But it just slides in. And then you want to tighten the screw. There we go, the joystick is tight. And then we're going to connect the cable. It's sitting loose here. Let me go around. 
and you want to align the connections once they go in. You're going to screw this in and now it is locked and your joystick has been installed. Now I'm going to see if I have power. If I press the on button, I do have power, everything was connected good. If I try to drive the chair and I get this sound, that means we are in neutral and the chair will not drive in neutral. In order to take your chair out of neutral, you want to look for these red levers in the back. There's two settings, there's manual and then there is power. Um, power is where you're going to drive, that engages the electromagnetic brakes. Neutral is so you can push the chair, the chair will not drive in neutral. You want to take both of these levers, push them down, turn the power off and then back on on your joystick. And now, we should have power and the chair will drive. Now to install the cup holder, it's the exact same way we installed the joystick, just on the other side. You want to slide it in and then tighten the screw and that will hold it in place. There we go. So here's the battery on our chair. Uh, the battery will arrive with the chair fully charged. There should be no reason to charge the batteries upon arrival. Um, but just as a heads up, you can charge the batteries uh, right here. The, the chair comes with a charger, it's in this box here and it would charge under here. If you do have to remove the batteries, there is a little lever you pull up here, the batteries slide out. You can take these in with you and charge them. If you have to move the arms up and out of the way, you want to pull this lever to the side and then the arms will flip up. You can also charge your battery through the joystick right here underneath, but that's how you flip your arms up and out of the way and it just snaps when you bring them back down. So the City 2 Plus also comes with this bag with some spacers and bolts. That's only if you're going to be adjusting the width or like any of the adjustments on the seat. I'm not going to cover that in this video. That'll be in our review video. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Uh, but this has been the unboxing and assembly of the City 2 Plus um, folding power chair by Travel Buggy. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Uh, it also comes with a second cushion over here that we saw uh, earlier. So you can install that if you'd like. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.